Hello and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. My name is Tina and I'm here today to talk to you about some more Thinking Tree products. Today I'm going to be talking about, with this video, I'm going to be talking about the mom journals because you see different ones. Now I personally own three of the different mom journals. Um, I want to just talk briefly about each one of those journals because when you're just starting out and you're not familiar with Sarah Brown's um, books, you may get a look confused or you may be thinking like which journal to start off with, just which one should I start out with. These are my opinions. You can start off with any journal that you particularly would like. You can like the cover, you can like what it's talking about, and you can start out with any journal that you like. However, this is just my opinion on how by looking at the journals how I would start out if I'm just a new person just coming across Thinking Tree products. Okay, if you're a new person just coming across Thinking Tree products and you have decided, you have not quite decided what all you want to do yet, but you just want to get a little feel of how the journals are, this is the perfect journal for you to start out with. The reason why I say this is because this is one of the smaller journals when you're dealing with the size compared to other mom journals. It's, it's small, relatively small, but it gives you a good foundation or basis to how these other books are. Although, of course, these books are way more detailed than this one. However, this book gives just a basic foundation of mom school and it's basically telling you to teach your child or children by being a good example. So basically what you would do with this book, if you bought this book along with a child's thinking tree book, when your child is working in the book or children, you will just pick out a couple pages and then you will work in the book yourself as well. You have different things on science, you have different things on like days of the week, things that you're going to do, good nutrition, bad habits. The book has a good little bit of every little thing, a little bit bit of copy work, reading time. Basically, this is just to show your children that, hey, mom's got school too. We all have responsibilities. Although mom has a lot of different other things that I have to do in order to take care of you and take care of the household, I still have to make time for my school as well. So it encourages your children or child to do their work fairly just like their mom would do it. So I mean, and it's very it's small, relatively small compared to other books. But say for example, you are already uh, introduced to the Thinking Tree products and you may not have totally flipped to fun schooling, but you're using quite a bit of Sarah Brown's journals for your children. You may have chosen the Science Journal or the United States Geography or the Timeline to History. Um, you, you, you pick certain journals that you use for your children and you incorporate it within your curriculum, some of the thinking trees with your regular curriculum. I think this would be a good mom book for you to have. It says homeschooling handbook for moms how to teach by example this is the bigger version of this book this is mom school this is the mom handbook which has a whole lot more stuff in it because if your child already has some of the thinking tree workbooks and things you want to also work with them too you want to still continually teach by example now this book it says um, if your child uses a workbook, you should too. So here's a workbook just for you, homeschooling mom. Now you get a stack of books about things that you want to study to use along with the study guide. You read, color, draw, watch a good film with your kids. And this right here will enrich your life. And also you can use this book as a study guide, daily devotional, or planner. So this right here, this book can also be used to help you plan your assignments for your homeschool, it can also be used for you just to, if you want to learn some new things, um, because with all the homeschooling journals uh, for the children as well, you have are encouraged to use your library books or personal books in order to build your own uh, curriculum by using these awesome journals that she creates. So this is just some of it. 
some of the stuff that's in here. Of course, these are mine. You know, you have meal time recipes. Um, you just this is some of my work. Um, you have world news, um, movie time, and basically daily journal. So it kind of like follows the same format that one of the children journals would. Um, of course, it's not identical, but it gives you a good foundation for your children to see that you're working as well um, when they're working. A lot of other different things that they have in here for the mom journal. So I think this is a good one for those of you who uh, are is not a newbie with the Thinking Tree. This is the awesome book to, to get if you have some of the thinking tree journals that you're already using in your curriculum you're trying to figure out which book mom journal to get for you I think this will be good for ones who are already using thinking tree but you haven't totally flipped to fun schooling as of yet and you want to set a good example for your children if you just started now and you don't really know too much about thinking tree but you want to kind of get a feeling of it I think this is the book for you to use now, say for example, you have been using Thinking Tree products, you've been supplementing with some of the social studies, the geography, the science, um, now she's coming out with some literature for language arts, which is a plus, yay, and you've been using some math and stuff of that nature, but you decided that you want to totally flip to fun schooling then what journal do I think you should use with your homeschool? In my personal opinion, like I said before, this is just my opinion, people. You can pick with it with I mean you can pick any journal that you would like, but these are just my personal opinions on how I would go about it. Now, if you have made the decision that you're gonna totally flip to fun schooling, um, and those of you who know what fun schooling is, it's basically mean when you flip the fun schooling, you're using Sarah Brown's uh, books as the foundation of your homeschool. So, uh, although you may use other resources and things to supplement your uh, Thinking Tree products, but Thinking Tree is your foundation. You build upon different things based on your Thinking Tree books and, and, and resources and stuff of that nature. So those of you who totally made the decision, oh, I'm flipping the fun school and I'm one of them, that I totally flipped the fun school in, that her books are my main foundation and I build upon that with other resources and supplements. I think that this will be the book for you. Those of you who have made the decision that I'm totally flipping to fun schooling, and hence the name, Mom's Fun Schooling Handbook, Flip to Fun Schooling, an idea book, a coloring journal for homeschooling moms. Now, this book will be totally awesome for you to totally, when the ones who totally flip to fun schooling. The reason why I say this is because, excuse me, the way this book is designed, it has the whole fun schooling theme, idea of creativity, ingenuity, thinking outside the box, um, even give you some cool ideas as to how you can flip to fun schooling. Listen to this. Flip to fun schooling. Discover how to learn real life skills without dull lessons, worksheets, and classrooms. Underline things your children have done. That's a great start. Circle things you want to, them to do. Make your own list too. Look at all these. Give you ideas on different things that you can use for your fun school. Like, for example, I'm not going to read all of them, but like, these are some of them. You can read interesting books, build with Legos, explore nature, tame a pet, count the stars, enter a contest, learn a new skill, make a dinner, volunteer, paint a mural, make a tie-dye clothing, film your own reality show, build a computer, plan a garden, keep a diary, play board games. The list goes on and on. This is the reason why I feel like if you have decided to totally flip to fun schooling, which I have done this year, this is an awesome handbook for the mothers to have because like all the fun schooling journals or the mom journals, they are designed to help encourage not only the children but the mother 
and give us some resources that we can use to make us take some time for ourselves and also teach our children through example by us using the books and resources ourselves as well. I have noticed that moments when I am instructing my kids like okay this is what you have to do and then I go along and I like try to do clothing, wash the clothes, cook a meal or something like that. They they get their work done, but when I'm sitting down with them and I'm doing my work as well, especially for my younger child, my son, he was like, wow, mom, you have so much to do and you're taking time to do your work too. And my daughter was like, yeah, mommy has school too. She has stuff that she does too. So it really encouraged the child. So I want to show you a little bit about the fun school in journal. I want to just show you the inside of it a little bit. Get your books, your basket, the same just what you do with your children. You get the books that you're interested in. Maybe some things maybe you want to plan to do with your children. You do that. We have some creative writing. We have coloring. We have therapeutic coloring to help you relax because coloring do help you with de-stressing. You um, even have a part where the mother encourages us as a mother to learn a new skill. Uh, geography, uh, mom's generosity, different ideas, different things you can incorporate with your homeschool. I mean, the list goes on and on. This book is perfect for those of us who have totally decided to flip to fun schooling. Again, let me recap of what I think which journal a person should start off with if they're just beginning. If you're just beginning and you're not familiar with uh, the whole thinking tree concept and philosophies and stuff of that nature and you just want to like get your feet wet so to speak i feel like a good journal for you to start out with would be the mom school although it's not as detailed and as big as the other journals but this gives you pretty much a basic foundation of how the journals are in general although the two bigger ones are way more detailed but this gives you a good foundation for uh, pretty much the mind frame of with dealing with the thinking tree and also help you set a good example for your children if you bought them a journal and they see you working in it. Now say for example you already decided that okay I love thinking tree uh, but I'm not going to totally put the fun schooling but I'm going to use some of the thinking tree products incorporated within my home school. I'm going to use them but I'm not going to flip all the way to fun schooling. I'm just going to use certain journals to supplement what I'm already doing in my homeschool. I feel like this will be the perfect homeschooling mom journal for you. The reason why is because once again we're still teaching by example and it has some different things that you can actually do in, and do with your children as well from meal planning to perspective to how you're feeling it. The list goes on and on. This is a very good journal. But say, for example, you said, okay, I have tried many of Sarah Brown's products, and I love them, and I'm absolutely all in. I'm going to flip to fun schooling. I feel like this is the journal that you should use because it's the word, Mom's Fun Schooling Handbook, and it gives you some cool ideas to get the imagination juices flowing, and also, of course, you'll be working through by example. And this book fosters the creativity and the stress freeness of fun schooling, where your children is based on the light, direct, and learning. And that's what all her journals, not just the fun school, but all her things are basically uh, centered around the light, direct, learning to help our children enjoy the learning experience. So, again, these are the three journals. And I hope this helped in some way for you to be able to figure out which journal in particular should you buy in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. So again, this is Tina Ramsey from Lakeshore Academy, and I'm so glad you came to my channel. Um, have a nice day.